Alright guys, today I'm gonna build my studio. I just got my studio desk in the mail. It's time to make this room the new home studio. Let's do it. That's the Gator Frameworks Elite Studio Desk. Let's get some stuff on it. All right, we also got the Gator Frameworks Pro Broadcast Boom On. And also on Gator Frameworks website, you can find the Rocket Stage Accessories Guitar Rack that holds five guitars. Get some guitar on this thing. So I'm pretty stoked with where it's at right now. I got a lot more to do. I'm gonna hang some guitars, add a bunch more stuff, plug everything in, and get the studio working. Thank you so much, Gator Framework, Skater Cases. This is sick. You. And there we have it. Introducing Nob Studios. I literally cannot believe this. I don't know if I told you guys before, but I used to literally work out of a closet. Literally, it was like, it wasn't even a walk-in closet. So I had my computer there, I had my interface, um, some amps in there, and it was like super cramped in. And now I legit have space to create, make music, uh, do what I love to do. So let me show you around. It's still a little small, but I was able to fit everything in. Check out the guitar section. So it holds five guitars. Right now I got the Portlander, the Strat, acoustic electric. I got a really cool baritone over there. And then the bass six. Here I got a ukulele and where I hold all my straps. Man, check out those lovely straps. They look so sick. Come here to a closet. I got some cases in there. 
and also cables. So I built this whole system here. Got my curling coils, curling 10 foot, 20 foot, XLRs and some other cables in the back. Got some microphones over here. Super cool. It's probably one of my favorite parts. <laughs> the pedal wall. This thing was crazy <laughs> trying to make sure it does not fall, but it's holding strong. So down here I got the wall resection. The second tier has a whole bunch of black pedals, looks super cool. Plus a visible overdrive, which always looks awesome. And then for the third tier, just some other ones that I really like. But it's kind of a cool rainbow spectrum. Alright, let's check out the table. So this is the Gator Frameworks Studio Elite Studio Desk. So I got some speakers that a great friend of mine, Dave Edwards, gave me. Man, maybe like five years ago. Still killing it. Uh, interface I'm working with right now is the Phonic Firefly 808. Oh, and check out these blue pedals over here. These are the first pedals I've ever bought. I started off with the Strymon Blue Sky Reverb. And then after like a year or so, I got the Mayflower Overdrive by Walrus Audio. So crazy. And then I was on tour with El Americano. And I got the TC Electronic Flashback X4, which totally changed. Um, everything in terms of delay for me. This thing is historic for me. Love that thing. Goes right into my laptop. I have some other cool stuff over here too. This is a PreSonus preamp 2 channel. And this is a really old Roland Phantom XR for MIDI. So whenever I want to use MIDI sounds, just pull this thing out and I got a whole bunch of sounds right in there if I don't want to use the ones in Logic. All right, then we got the boom arm over here. We got some guitars hung up, a banjo, acoustic, and this beautiful Ibanez Pat Metheny model. Love that thing. Got some of my amps, the Roland JC22, and an old Fender Deluxe 90 solid state. This really fun little Casio keyboard. <laughs> this thing is really cool when you add some effects on it. I love how it sounds. And last, we got my pedal board. Here's my main, the mothership, and then my little travel board over here. I'm gonna make a few changes on this one in a bit, so stay tuned for a video coming soon. All right, and there you have it. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Huge shout out to Gator Frameworks for helping me out with this desk, uh, the boom, the guitar stand, and for curling cables for basically running all the audio with their instrument cables, XLRs in the studio. So thank you guys so much, really appreciate it. I can't believe it's finally here, man. I've been waiting for this moment for such a long time and now I get to live in it. Um, super stoked. I'm totally looking forward to what's in store for 2023. Recording, creating, uh, this, is, this is a dream. Thanks for watching guys, catch you later.